OK, so let's say I want to find the sum of each of these series. And I'm going to use one of these two formulas in order to do it, the sum to n terms. So I've put in a mixture of questions here, some where we know how many terms there are, some where we don't, and a couple in sigma notation as well. So for number one, we've got 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 uh, plus etc. up to 10 terms. So we need to identify the first term and the common ratio R because that's what this, what this formula has, including the N. So A is 1, the common ratio is 2 because we're doubling each time, and N is 10. So the sum to 10 terms, now you can use either of these formulas, it doesn't matter which, they both give you exactly the same answer. So A, I'm going to use this one, so A is 1, R is 2, so 2 to the 10 take away 1, all over 2 take away 1. So in the numerator, we have 2 to the 10 take away 1, so 1,023. And in the denominator, we've got 1. So this is just 1,023. So that is the sum of those 10 terms in number 1. OK, so number 2, we have 8 plus 12 plus 18 plus etc. up to 136.6875. Now, we can identify the first term, which is 8. The common ratio we can calculate using the second term divided by the first term. So 12 divided by 8, and that gets us 3 halves. The thing is, we don't know what n is. So we can't use one of these formulas directly. So we need to determine which n gives us that value. So using that first formula, we can say that 136.6875 must be equal to the first term times by 3 halves the common ratio to the power of n minus 1. Now, if we divide both sides by 8 first, we get 2187 over 128 is equal to 3 halves to the power of n minus 1. Now logging both sides, so that n minus 1 is log base 3 halves of 2187 over 128. So log of 3 halves of 2187 over 128 is 7. So adding 1 to both sides, n must be 8. So with that knowledge, I can now find the sum of the first 8 terms which is 8a, so I'm going to use this formula here, times by 3 halves to the n, so 3 halves to the 8, take away 1, all over r, so 3 halves, take away 1. So in the numerator, 8, open two brackets here, 3 halves, close the bracket, to the power of 8, uh, take away 1, and in the denominator, 3 halves take away 1. So overall, we've got 6305 over 16, which is 394.0625. That is the, either of those are perfectly fine as exact answers. OK, so moving on. To number 3, we've got 9 take away 18 plus 36 take away 72 plus etc. up to 12 terms. Okay, So we can identify A as 9, the common ratio as minus 2, multiplying by minus 2 each time. We already know N as well. So we can go directly into one of these two formulas. Now seeing as we haven't used it yet, I'm going to use the second one this time. So using that formula, the sum of the first 12 terms is a, which is 9, times 1 minus, now r is minus 2. So I'd pop that in a bracket to the power of n, so 12, all over 
are 1 minus r. So 1 take away minus 2. So you've got to be a little bit careful with um, the negative here, making sure minus 2 is in a bracket. So in the numerator, we have 9 lots of 1 take away minus 2 to the power of 12, which is minus 36855. And we're going to divide that by 3, which is minus 12285. So that is the sum of the first 12 terms. So that's number 3. Now number 4, 16 plus 12 plus 9 plus etc. up to 729 over 256. A is clearly 16. The common ratio is 12 over 16, which is 3 quarters. N, we don't know what that is. So we're going to have to use a similar technique to what we did in number 2 in order to get there. So 729 over 256 must be equal to, uh, using this formula up here, A times R to the N minus 1. So 729 over 256, divide that by 16 first. We get 729 over 4096, and that's 3 quarters to the power of n minus 1. Now you can log both sides using log base 3 quarters to get n minus 1 is log base 3 quarters of the 729 over 4096. So log of base 3 quarters of 729 over 4096 is 6. Add 1 to both sides, so n is 7. So we can now go into one of these two formulas. I'm going to go into the second one again now. So S7 is equal to A, so 16, lots of 1 minus 3 quarters to the n, so 7 all over 1 take away 3 quarters. So in the numerator, we have 16 lots of 1 take away 3 quarters uh, to the power of 7, which is 13.86425781, and I'm dividing that by 1 take away 3 quarters, which is 14197 over 256, which is 55.457 to three decimal places. Okay, and that is your answer for number four. Right, we're now going to move into the sigma notation problems, number five and number six. So number five, we want to find the sum of the nth term 1.004 times 2 to the n minus 1 from n is 1 up to 11. So we still need to identify a, r and n here. So a is when n is 1. So when n is 1, I get 2 to the 1 take away 1, so 2 to the 0, which is just 1. So I get 1.004. Now the common ratio is clearly 2. I mean, this even looks like in exactly the same format as this nth term a times r to the n minus 1. So a is clearly the 1.004, r is clearly the 2. And then finally you've got how many terms there are. Well we're going from the first term up to the 11th and so there is 11 terms. So I'm going to use this back to this first formula now. So s11 is a 1.004 times uh, 2 to the 11 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. So the denominator is clearly 1. The numerator is 2 to the 11, take away 1, 2055.188. Okay, and that should be that sum there. Now it's always best to check. So using your sigma button, type in the 1.004 times by 2 to the power of x minus 1 and then from x is 1 to 11 which gets us precisely the same answer as required okay 
So that's number five. And then finally, number six, uh, we've got 7,000 times 1 half to the n minus 1 from n is 6 up to 8. So we could figure out each term individually and add them together. I'm still going to use the formula, though. So first term is when n is 6. So we have 7,000 times by 1 half to the power of 6 take away 1, so 5. And that gets me 218.75. The common ratio r is clearly in the form of a r to the n minus 1, so r is a half. Now the number of terms that we have, we've got 6, 7 and 8. So 8 take away 6, then add the 1. Gives us three terms. So let's use the second formula this time. The sum of these three terms is 218.75 times by 1 take away a half, pop it in a bracket, cubed, all over 1 take away a half. So the numerator, 218.75 times by 1 take away a half, cubed, is 6125 over 32, now divide it by a half, is 6125 over 16, or 382.8125. So lastly, just check that we're using your sigma button on your calculator. 7,000 times by 1 half uh, to the power of n minus 1, so x minus 1, from x is 6 up to 8 and we get precisely the same answer. Okay, So that's how we can utilize these formulas to solve these geometric series problems.